Dream World. A game where you can build houses, fight raiders and command your pawns to progress through the story. But what will happen if you lose your last pawn? Can you still beat the game? This is Aiming for Gaming, and today we are aiming for the most unintended gameplay in RimWorld. First of all, we need to pick the scenario with highest probability of losing colony. Let's do it by pressing the new colony button. Between all default scenarios, the one called Naked Brutality is the most promising one. Naked, alone and utterly unprepared. Extremely difficult and unfair. Perfect game, you sold it! Next step is to choose Storyteller. I'll just pick the classic one as we can change it anytime. Strive to survive difficulty. Yep, that reflects the overall mood, perfect. The seed. Aiming for gaming. Hope the game now understands the importance of world generation results. There are also several tribes I don't know anything about, so I'll just add them and press generate. And there we go, a brand new world, ready to suffer. Which place we will call our home? Oh, this one should fit, with mountains, huge river and a stone road. I'm not sure about the importance of neighbors, but there are some as well. Oh yes, I've enabled ideology add-on. Let me ask you this. What is an ideology of colony that tries to die as fast as it can? The answer is… who cares? Random bullshit, go! Hmm, a relic hammer. And we can rename it? Ok. Truth bearer. And here we should pick the traits of our pawn. A nudist, incapable of intellectual activity and medieval farm off as adulthood. Yeah, definitely the guy I expect to see. Nice beard, by the way. I'll call you. Thor the God. Alright, it's finally time to start. It was supposed to be a minor surgery, just an hour under anesthetic, you felt totally safe. Now you are walking inside a drop pod punching through the atmosphere of a distant rim world. Yeah, one of those days that start normally but end up in a total hell, I understand. Hmm, so this is our Thor the God, but for some reason the game shows us only THE. Looks like surgery also cut two third of our name. We will start by looking at the surroundings. Alright, we can see a donkey, some ancient remains, oh, and mega sloth. This place looks promising, walls, fences and a river nearby. So we should open order tab, choose claim and select the area that will be ours. And done! Just about time to press like and subscribe button, it will help my channel grow. Thank you so much for your support! By the way, this game is of the type that does not allow direct command by default, so we should set up our priorities and give orders. And as you can see, there are many options to choose from, starting from firefight and up to research, which is not available at the moment Bruh. because the tower is dummy. If you don't want to use your brains, then use your hands. We'll choose several berries and health root and order Thor to harvest them. Meanwhile, Thor decided that it's way more important to repair some of the ancient fences than to prepare food. Wise choice, my friend. Hey, you need a bed? Come on, you're here to die. A sleeping spot. Just a spot on the ground where people should sleep, not comfortable. Perfect. As far as I can see, you like fences. I'll place a spot between the fence and a tree. Enjoy. As Thor for some reason still resists cutting plants, we'll prioritize this work along with plant growth. As we gather more resources, we should definitely store them somewhere. For this purpose, I'll place stockpile zone in the building. And dumping zone goes around Thor's bed. Sleeping near trash looks promising, isn't it? Yes, Thor, cut down the trees, we need some wood for more buildings. In order to get raw meat, we'll need butcher spot. Where? Obviously near the bed. What about crafting spot? I guess you know the answer. Actually, I've just realized that such spots will work inefficiently if we place them outside of the building, so I've added second room. Uh, I suppose building is not your strength, right? It's about time to organize stable food and resource supply, so I'll set up multiple growing zones. More precisely, it will be one rice zone and one cotton zone. Actually, let's replace butcher's spot with table, which is more efficient. We would also require a wooden club to defend ourselves. And definitely several meals to not starve to death. Go, go, my farmer, so us the plants. You know what? I want to see what will happen if I are simply ordered to attack this rat. What a battle! It will be written in the legends, Thor and the rat. Anyway, now we've got meat, which is good, right? And several injuries from our fearsome fight. But we have some medical skill to treat ourselves. <sighs> He's fine. We will also make a bow for hunting. What now? An attack? The brave Kexigo from the Noda kinship. Hey, he has a knife, that's not fair. Fast, execute plan A, build a defensive trap. 
Oh, you clumsy idiot, you broke it! Okay, plan B, ranged attack with a bow. Never mind. Okay, time to show the Thor's might in the melee combat. Wait, what? They decided to kidnap my only pawn? An interesting way to end my colony. Okay, good news, the game is not ended yet for some reason. Bad news, I have no pawns to control. So, what I can do here? Okay, Mr. Megaslot, it's my turn now. I'll play Snots. Another round? This time I'll win, you'll see. Okay, maybe next time. Alright, what's next? Come on, tree, you can grow bigger. Hooray! Stupid animals with their stupid deaths right after my iconic structure. Okay, you can be surprisingly good at tic-tac-toe, but what about chess? Nope. And I asked that doll, do you have a favorite ram? And she answered, I tried on the Kingston so far. <laughs> you guys are terrific. Yay, a wanderer! But I need to tame or arrest him. But by whom? Hello, Payne the Collector, I suppose you'll be my guest for a while. My turn? Hmm, maybe here? Damn you! Well, you can beat me, but you're no match for my friend Megasloth. Yes, run while you still can. Hey, time for revenge! I found a guy who said that he would easily beat you in tic-tac-toe. Hey, she's dead! Because of heart attack? Oh no! Why do animals continue dying near my emulator? A means muerte in Spanish? To be honest, I spent two in-game years trying to get a new pawn and failed. I guess it would be fair to just show you the sequence of events happened. Enjoy! Got another raider's attack, they burned my house and crops to ashes. Lost everything except several stone walls and steel. Found another wanderer called Theo. An ambrosia bush grown nearby. Tortoise have gone mad and tried to attack zero people from my settlement. I placed chestboard near Megasloth remains, a sign of respect and friendship. Several spaceship chunks fell from the sky. We've got third wanderer called Felicity Digger. Two more spaceship chunks fell from the sky. Another wanderer called Billa came in. An unusual heat had begun. Two rare animals called Trumbus wandered into the area. Another raider destroyed several walls. My wanderers decided to live near the Ambrosia. Pain died in the fight with a work. The others started failing due to extreme temperature and Ambrosia tolerance. The heat wave had ended. Wanderers ate almost all the Ambrosia. Felicity learned how to sleep on the water. Several masks fell from the sky. An unusual cold snap has set in. All wanderers died because of it right away. Then lightning strikes caused the fire that burned the dead bodies. Another raider in a warm coat destroyed several walls. A wild muffler gone mad and turned into Manhunter. One more raider decided to attack, but faced the muffler and got killed. You deserved it, bro. More Ambrosia has spawned on the map. The raider called Doomba Torturer continued his tribe's work to break everything I had. Something called Koranian Pot has grown on the map. Stumpy Taster attacked my walls. Take your time, dude. Packaged survival meals dropped on the water. Another set of wanderers started to spawn, but still no pawns for my settlement. Which means that no one can finish this game. Next time raiders will definitely aim for more, so press like and subscribe button to not miss it, and see you later!